Hey guys, welcome back to the shed. Today I'm gonna be forging a woodworking tool. You guys probably have heard of it. It's called draw knife. A really useful for helping with rounding out just blocks of wood and stuff, and I think I could use it when I'm making some tool handles over here in the shed. Plus, it, th it seems like a really fun project just to figure out. There's gonna be some bends, some flattening in odd places, and I'm gonna be making it out of our favorite material here, rebar. So without further ado, we're gonna just hop right into it. All right, so now that we got all this forged out, I'm gonna go on to rough grinding the profile and then we'll just go straight into the quench. The main idea I'm gonna be doing with this rough grinding is making it so these are like mini folding or hidden tang knives is basically my reference I'm going off of. Basically, they'll just have a small tang that'll go into the handle and maybe a rough grind on the bevels and straightening up this and the edge just to make sure. I have a nice clean surface to cut with. Okay, it's taking a while, but after doing this repeatedly, we've finally gotten the quench tank to the point where it's not solidized, so this is going to be good enough for the quench, I think, today. Alright, there we go, all quenched up, straightened out, had a tiny, tiny bit of a warp, but I just fixed that up off camera. And file skates across the entire blade, so we're ready to sharpen this up and put a handle on, or two handles for that matter. Alright, so the plan for the handle is pretty simple, honestly. I've already gotten this piece of walnut all rounded out because it was a failed hammer handle at one point. I accidentally went too thin right here, but that's besides the point. The point is, is we can reuse this and cut this into about two or three inch pieces. Honestly, nothing too terribly big. I'm not looking for a massive handle to hold on to. And then we can drill holes, heat up the tang, burn on, and epoxy. And then this thing should be done pretty quick, actually.
All right, there's not a lot of point to a draw knife if we don't test it, so let's see how it goes. Sure enough, it is cutting very nicely. Oh yeah, look at that right there, that little beveling. This is gonna make my life so much easier when it comes to handle making. So, with that just said and done, thank you guys so much for watching me make this. It was a ton of fun, definitely challenged my bending skills a little bit. But with that, that is the end of this video, guys. Uh, thanks for coming along. If you guys haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. There's a lot of new stuff that we're gonna be doing soon on this channel, there's gonna be a few changes. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so you guys can keep up with that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.